The Law of Success by Napoleon Hill A Summary The Law of Success is a book by Napoleon Hill, published in 1928, that outlines 16 principles for achieving personal and professional success. Hill interviewed over 500 successful people, including Andrew Carnegie, Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, and Theodore Roosevelt, and distilled their wisdom into a comprehensive system of self-improvement. The book is based on the premise that success is not a matter of luck, but of following certain universal laws that anyone can learn and apply. In this summary, we will briefly explain each of the 16 laws and how they can help you achieve your goals. The 16 Laws of Success The Law of the Mastermind This law states that you need to surround yourself with a group of like-minded people who share your vision and support your efforts. A mastermind is a harmonious alliance of two or more minds that creates a third invisible force that can overcome any obstacle. By joining or forming a mastermind group, you can benefit from the collective intelligence, experience, and resources of your peers. The Law of a Definite Chief Aim This law states that you need to have a clear and specific purpose in life that guides your actions and decisions. A definite chief aim is a statement of what you want to achieve, why you want to achieve it, and how you plan to achieve it. By having a definite chief aim, you can focus your energy, attract the right opportunities, and overcome any difficulties. The Law of Self-Confidence This law states that you need to have faith in your abilities and in the validity of your chief aim. Self-confidence is the belief that you can accomplish what you set out to do, regardless of the opinions or criticisms of others. By developing self-confidence, you can overcome fear, doubt, and procrastination, and act with courage and conviction. The Law of the Habit of Saving This law states that you need to cultivate the habit of saving a portion of your income for future use. Saving is not only a means of accumulating wealth, but also a way of developing self-discipline, self-reliance, and financial independence. By saving regularly, you can prepare for emergencies, invest in opportunities, and secure your future. The Law of Initiative and Leadership This law states that you need to take the initiative and assume the leadership in any situation that requires it. Initiative is the ability to act on your own without waiting for someone else to tell you what to do. Leadership is the ability to influence others to cooperate with you in achieving a common goal. By exercising initiative and leadership, you can create your own opportunities, solve problems, and inspire others. The Law of Imagination This law states that you need to use your imagination to create and visualize your desired outcomes. Imagination is the faculty that enables you to see things that do not exist yet and to transform them into reality. By using your imagination, you can generate new ideas, plan your actions, and attract the resources you need. The Law of Enthusiasm this law states that you need to infuse your actions and words with enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is the emotion that expresses your passion, excitement, and conviction for what you do. By being enthusiastic, you can communicate your message more effectively, persuade others to join you, and overcome any obstacles. The Law of Self-Control This law states that you need to control your thoughts, emotions, and actions, and direct them towards your chief aim. Self-control is the ability to master your impulses, habits, and desires, and to act in accordance with your higher purpose. By practicing self-control, you can avoid distractions, resist temptations, and overcome any weaknesses. The Law of the Habit of Doing More Than Paid For This law states that you need to render more and better service than you are paid for, and do it with a positive attitude. Doing more than paid for is not only a way of increasing your value and reputation, but also a way of developing your skills, knowledge, and network. By doing more than paid for, you can create goodwill, attract more opportunities, and earn more rewards. The Law of a Pleasing Personality This law states that you need to develop and maintain a pleasing personality that makes you likable and attractive to others. A pleasing personality is a combination of traits and behaviors that include a positive attitude, a cheerful smile, a courteous manner, a sense of humor, and a genuine interest in others. By having a pleasing personality, you can win friends, influence people, and create a favorable impression.
The Law of Accurate Thinking This law states that you need to think accurately and critically about the facts and information that affect your chief aim. Accurate thinking is the ability to separate facts from opinions, to analyze causes and effects, and to draw logical conclusions. By thinking accurately, you can avoid errors, fallacies, and biases, and make sound decisions. The Law of Concentration This law states that you need to concentrate your attention and effort on one thing at a time until it is completed. Concentration is the ability to focus your mind on a single object or task, and to exclude any irrelevant or distracting thoughts. By concentrating, you can increase your efficiency, quality, and speed of work, and achieve your desired results. The Law of Cooperation This law states that you need to cooperate with others in a spirit of harmony and mutual benefit. Cooperation is the ability to work with others towards a common goal, and to respect their opinions, feelings, and interests. By cooperating, you can leverage the power of teamwork, synergy, and reciprocity, and accomplish more than you could alone. The Law of Failure This law states that you need to treat failure as a learning opportunity and a stepping stone to success. Failure is not a permanent or fatal condition, but a temporary and inevitable setback that tests your character and resilience. By learning from failure, you can discover your weaknesses, improve your methods, and gain valuable experience. The Law of Tolerance this law states that you need to be tolerant of the beliefs, opinions, and actions of others that differ from your own. Tolerance is the ability to accept and respect the diversity and individuality of others, and to refrain from imposing your views or judgments on them. By being tolerant, you can avoid conflicts, misunderstandings, and prejudices, and foster peace and harmony. The Law of the Golden Rule this law states that you need to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. The golden rule is the universal principle of ethics and morality that guides your interactions and relationships with others. By following the golden rule, you can establish trust, goodwill, and justice, and earn the respect and cooperation of others. Conclusion The law of success is a timeless and practical guide for anyone who wants to achieve personal and professional success. By applying the 16 laws of success, you can develop a positive mindset, a clear vision, and a winning strategy that will help you overcome any challenge and reach any goal. The law of success is not a quick fix or a magic formula, but a proven system that requires constant study, practice, and application. The law of success is not only a book, but a way of life.